four people were found brutally murdered inside a home on Layton Avenue in Rochester. And every year on January 9th, the people who will never forget what happened to their family and friends hold a vigil. Michael Royal, his fiance, Jennifer Lazier, Lachelle Powell, and Michael Adams were found bound in the attic. Their bodies set on fire. And I'm doing a vigil for all of them. Not just my daughter. It's for every last one of them. I said it was four people that passed on. I say five because Jennifer had, she was pregnant. So it's five spirits that went on. No one has been arrested for this crime, but family members are hopeful someone who knows what happened will come forward. Nikki Rudd obtained crime scene pictures never shared before from inside that home on Layton Avenue. News 10 NBC goes deeper into this quadruple homicide investigation next. Break. We took you to the vigil marking the three-year anniversary of a brutal quadruple homicide in Rochester that has never been solved. News 10 NBC has obtained pictures never seen before from inside the house where it happened on Layton Avenue. Tonight, News 10 NBC's Nikki Rudd takes us inside the evidence. It's an unspeakable crime. Four people found tied up in an attic, their mouths covered in duct tape, murdered. To this day, no credible leads have come in to find the killer. To be capable of a crime like this, this is a monster out there. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a monster out there. It's a devil himself. The devil himself. On January 9, 2016, four people were murdered in this Rochester home, and the house was set on fire. I know <laughs> fire department wanted to fight the fire, made a discovery of four bodies in the house. Michael Royal lived in the upstairs apartment on Layton Avenue along with his fiance Jennifer Lazier. He rented a room to Lachelle Powell and Michael Adams. Royal's mother also lived there. She was gone for the weekend, came at night, um, close to midnight, and found the front door open, the light net on. News 10 NBC obtained never-before-seen photos from inside the house. Mary Royal walked into the home, went up these stairs to the second-floor apartment, and that's when she smelled smoke. But it's so brutal, we couldn't show it on I can, we can, We're not going to show um, anything after this point. I'm not going to show anything. That, that's a memory the firemen and the investigators are going to live with. Rochester Police Investigators John Brennan and Gary Galletta have been working this case from day one. The, the number of victims and the brutality of this, um, it, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to believe that it hasn't gained more attention for quadruple murder in this, in this community. It's, it's so rare. Three years later, they don't know the motive or why they were targets. We know they were involved in low-level drug dealing. Um, but we don't know if that had anything to do with it. Investigators believe more than one person was involved and the murders were brutal. It's a lot harder to you know, physically kill somebody than it is to uh, you know, just shoot them from a distance. You know, it's a very personal thing when you, when you do it like this. So who killed these four people? Only rumors have been reported to police. We need help from somebody out there that has direct knowledge that's going to be brave enough and have the courage to come forward. Investigators say they will protect anyone who comes forward and they won't give up on solving this case. We want them bad. I mean, if we find out credible information who did this, they're done. We're, we'll hunt them down. We're going after them. Anyone with information on this quadruple homicide on Layton Avenue is asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 585-423-9300. Nikki Rudd, News 10 NBC. Now.